Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe here with Arma 2's Invasion 1944. This is, of course, a World War II modification that has been around for a very long time. Uh, however, recently it has piqued my interest. And I really want to play it. And I really want to play it online. But um, I'm having some trouble with that because there seems to be maybe six or seven servers at most and usually they are not populated or a few of them are, are locked or some of them are just so horribly laggy uh, this one seems to have a few issues when I go off-road in my tank here so I don't know if it's the server or if it's just bad coding or what I have no idea um, but right now I'm by myself in this Sherman Firefly we're actually playing as the uh, 82nd Airborne I think but at base there's a ton of tanks that you can choose from and well if there's a Firefly I'm gonna take it because that 17 pounder gun is fantastic but uh, this is a extremely realistic simulation this tank has room for a full crew. We got co-driver, loader, commander, driver. You can reload. Uh, you got armor piercing, high explosive. Pretty much most of the things that you can do in any Arma mod or game. But uh, we're near the objective here, as you can see. Uh, and there's only like 10 or 11 people on the server. And it's co-op, so we're fighting German AI. Uh, there's also another server out there where you play as the Germans, but right now we're just chilling here, and I believe that's a friendly. So I'm going to get to the commander's seat, and unfortunately I don't have an angle to view because this only rotates here. So this is the commander chair. I can turn out, of course, which is dangerous. I wonder if I have binoculars. Do I have binoculars? Yeah, I guess... All right, well, I'm turning in so I don't get my head shot off. That's interesting. My view kind of changed there. I hear a bomb. Oh! Yeah, there they go. It looks like one of ours, I think. Oh, somebody's hurt. Yeah, somebody's screaming. But yeah, I'll tell you what, it would be nice to have a full crew in one of these tanks. Um, I'm pretty sure that's German. I think that's a German plane. Which, I really don't want to deal with that. It is AI, so... Who knows? I suppose it is kind of cheap that I'm using the third person. If we were in a real tank, we wouldn't have that option. But since it's turned on in the server, why not, right? Plus, I'm by myself. I don't have a commander or anything to guide me. I have to switch in and out of the gunner seat. Um, yeah, there was nobody at base that wanted to get into the tank. Some guy rode off on a bicycle, actually. Well, let's see. Let me take a look at the map and... Maybe it was a friendly. It's blue. I don't know. Unless it was a different plane. I thought it looked like a German plane. I couldn't really tell. I guess here's a guy sitting there. I don't know. This is what we need to seize. So we have some people fighting there. Maybe if I just drive straight in through here. Mark that area. 
Now, the issue I was really having is that this game loves to just freak out when I go off-road through forests and whatnot. I'll just rubber band constantly and the tank will just flip around and bounce around like like it's a balloon. It's it's pretty bad and uh, made my game the other night quite unplayable and uh, yeah, not a lot of fun there. want to keep an eye out because this is an extremely realistic game so you can you can uh, be eliminated in a single hit we are in a Sherman obviously not known for armor so you have to be really careful you can of course fire at uh, a decent range, so you don't have to be close to the target. Which is why I'm staying on the outskirts. Alright, yeah. This would be so cool with a full crew, let me tell you. So we have friendly, only one friendly really that I see. I kind of take it easy rolling up here. Here, another Sherman. Yep. Alright, that works. Somebody else got in a tank. I've got movement to the right over there. Uh, but we have to verify that it's... I think it's friendly. Maybe it's this crusher guy. Assuming that that's a friendly. Yeah, it looks like it by the color of his uniform. Get too close, buddy. We don't want to get bombed together. Not exactly a great formation here. Oh! What? What happened? I didn't do anything. Uh, I was scrolling through... Yeah, exactly. I was scrolling through... My, uh, my, my positions in the tanks, just scrolling. I never touched anything. I scrolled and, uh, I was dead. I if this guy can revive me. You <laughs> Oh, 
Oh man, thanks. Oh no! Oops, let's see. I always hated how this chat works. Maybe eventually I could stand up, unless my legs are messed up. I'm back in my tank. I'm just gonna say thanks. Alright, well, I don't know. I think my legs are messed up or something. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I was just scrolling through everything, and all of a sudden that was out of my tank. Although that happened to me last night too, and I couldn't explain it. Only happens online. Alright, well, what's the objective? We took this territory. That was funky. Oh yeah, we have to wait here until the new objective pops up. I still hear somebody yelling. Maybe it's me, I don't know. That's God, our arm, you know, Arma in general is just such a funny little game. New mobile forces have recaptured. Okay. Oh man, look at that. I am not going there. Or am I? You know how long it would take to move over there? Yeah, about that. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get to shoot anything. By the time I got here, most of us had... Who's doing the shooting? All these trees knocked down here. Is there a dead guy over here? Is he gonna revive him? I think that no, uh, I think that guy's not coming back. So, is there an objective that's? Hmm. This is a side mission. Gorka. Sees Gorka, main target. Para jump, people are parachuting in. Not sure what this guy's up to. Well, as you can see, the uh, this game's uh, a bit funky. This mod, I should say.
but I feel like it would be so much fun on a proper server. I don't know. I don't know if it's the server's fault or if, if it's the mod or the net code or what. But uh, you should have seen earlier or on my live stream, my tank was just bouncing around like a maniac. there's somebody in my tank, but um, I thought there was a little window that shows you who's in the crew or who's who is your crew that's a long drive Let's see if we can do cross country I wonder if my tank's going to flip out problem with this though is you go so slow most people don't play the tanks I've noticed they'll either para jump or parachute in or or they'll take a Jeep and just drive immediately to the objective uh, a lot of people just never use the tanks because you're moving really slow most of the time but if you think about it if you play it properly you could probably take these bases fairly quick since you're only really fighting AI, um, I would guess that if you... I mean, I'm sure many of you have already played this, but if you take a look at the base, there's a lot of tanks. A lot of armor and just vehicles in general. Uh, problem number one is that the server's never full enough to even utilize half of that, but... With all those vehicles at base, you'd probably be able to get a lot done. There's also a lot of planes and bombers as well. And again, this server's got like 10 people on it or so. I don't know. If, I mean, sure, maybe it's changed by now. I could probably take a look if I could remember how. I think you go to the map screen and check it out. But now... I'm going to guess my tank will flip out soon, going through this forest. It's usually when it flips out the most. And in some cases, literally flips out. Sometimes you hit like a little rock or a boulder, and your tank does a backflip, and I don't know if it's just some sort of weird latency issue or what, but... You can see there's people joining, or trying to join. We'll pick up some downhill speed here. Probably take some trees with us. Now it says there's somebody with us. I love the engine sounds, though. Most people can't put up with this, though. Um, most people aren't patient enough to drive a tank all the way to an objective. I have no issue with it, uh, as long as it's not glitchy. And I don't know that I could do this every day. I think that, you know, eventually, okay, you can only want to drive for so long. Uh, it'd be nice to, you know, eventually see some sort of action. So I could understand that. Uh, my biggest issue is, like, last night... Front 100 meters. Good time to glitch out. Right when there's apparently an enemy tank somewhere.
That's a panzer that I may have just missed. I'm not sure. No, we got him. He's still driving, though. Yep, we nailed him. Broadside of the turret. We hit him with the first one because their their crew tried to get out. I think their driver was still good though. So they kept moving. Alright, this is where we just chill. And that's, uh, that's pretty much armored combat. Especially when you... <laughs> firing a 17-pounder into an enemy tank. Yep. Let alone a, what appears to be a Panzer IV. Yeah, I can also get into my commander chair and look around, but I think at the angle that I'm at, it's going to be hard to see around me. Somebody's still screaming. <laughs> Look at this guy. Alright, yeah, just run off. Don't get into the extremely useful tank. People are so afraid to deal with tanks for some reason. They really are. A lot of people just don't want to deal with them. Like, you realize that this provides us with an advantage, right? Said I'm sitting here driving and gunning by myself. You're welcome for taking out enemy armor. Yeah, Panzer IV. But see, I think that's what I like about Arma in general, is the realism. It's so extreme. Well, I hear all kinds of yelling. Now I'm hearing German. Panzer. I don't have much to shoot at there. It's flipping out. Look at it. I don't have a really good shot here. And I saw one of the crew get out. See, this is where I need a freaking driver friendly right in front. I gotta watch my fire. Go around it. Oh, no! Armor front. Gunner chair. I think they had abandoned the tank, though. They may have hit it with a rocket before I could even get to it, because we saw one of the crew bail out. Enemy tank, 11 o'clock. Is there another one? It's hard to see. There could be anything. Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. That's a German. Wait, hold on. I gotta hold my fire. I'm not sure of that. 
I saw, I think I saw a German soldier right around here, though. I'm taking advantage of this third person mostly because I don't have a crew. That's a German. Shoot, now he's back there. Let him have it with the... There we go, he's down. He had a Panzerfaust. Oh no, Panzer Shrek, sorry. Oh. Okay, well, you gotta be careful of that. See, now there's that window on my right that says crew. Well, now things are getting really interesting. It sucks manning this by myself, though. I think I had seen two German soldiers. We, we got rid of one. I don't know where the other went. Let me take a look at the map real quick, see if we have anybody over here. I think it's just me. I don't see friendlies. It's two Panzer IVs. Receiving. Yeah, I don't know. It takes so long to do that. Let's creep around this side. Shoot, what was that? Oh, gun depression is bad. I can't hit him. He's got a Faust. <sighs> that was close. I gotta get used to the fact that the gun's a little off-center on the, uh, the turret. As you can see there on the left, so you have to aim a little further over. It's AI though, I mean if that was a real guy, but you know, can you blame me? I'm, I'm having to deal with driving and gunning. I could have maybe run him over, but I thought that I could switch to the gun faster than doing any type of run over. <laughs> Ooh, 
We need infantry support, really. And if I'd have had this uh, tank in DayZ, <laughs> would have taught those bandits a lesson. Yeah, I've got some sort of contact. Two down. Whoa, armor, armor, armor. Uh, but I think the house is obscuring most of it. I need a driver so bad. It's a Stug. Right there. Sometimes it's it's hard to tell if you've penned. Unless it was already knocked out, I'm not sure. It's not moving. Is there, you know, I was trying to, to check the, uh, the, uh, the quick keys, the key bindings to see if there was a faster way to switch between positions within the tank, and, uh, I don't know that there is, but if there is, somebody can comment below instead of having to scroll through this all the time, like if I could do... That's just the commands. Ah, I captured Gorka. All me. By myself, one man tank crew. <laughs> I imagine it like actually happening in real life. I'm in a tank. Okay, I'm driving. Ugh, let me climb up to the gunner chair. Okay, gun, uh, let me climb back down to the driver's seat. <laughs> well, that was kind of worth it. I got some uh, satisfaction out of that. Oops. I meant to switch to my machine gun with that one. But uh, I guess that'll work. <laughs> An armor piercing round to the face. My bad. Just keeping an eye out. We captured it, but there may be some troops left. This is why it's it's good to have some sort of commander too. That way they can be in their chair kind of looking around. And they can turn out if they want to, which is of course scary because obviously you're on top of your tank and you just get shot in the face. You also have uh, the 30 caliber at the top if you need to use that. But I'm always paranoid about being on top of the tank like that. Well, I think that that is about it. 
We've taken Gorka. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this look at uh, Arma 2's Invasion 1944 mod. I hope that uh, this does get ported over to Arma 3 and perhaps uh, gets some more popularity when it does. Because this could be a lot of fun. I mean, the driving, I'm having issues with in regards to latency, rubber banding, some strange issues. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, again, any feedback that you can provide in the comments below in regards to what might be happening, uh, that would be appreciated. Or if you have any other suggestions or tips on how to play this or examples of how to run servers or what your recommendation for a good server provider would be. And I mean a good one, not some cheap one, but a good one. You know, cost isn't going to matter if I can get quality. Um, so, any of that advice would, of course, come in handy. But, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.